So Perth are visiting Inglewood in the match of the week. It's been a tough season so far for Inglewood. They haven't won at home so far this season. And Perth, who take to the field, come into this game on the back of three straight victories. As for Inglewood, well, it's been rather tough at home. And in fact, they haven't won in their last four matches. Well, it's an amazing scene here because it looks like a beautiful day. But in fact, there's been torrential rain around the Perth area all day today. Amazingly, it's just cleared up for the start of the match. So a corner on this near side for Perth. Chardon sends the ball in. It's just flicked over. Good effort there early on by Naglieri. Well pinched there by Brzezinski, who lays the ball off. It's out to this near side. It's taken on by Masopoulos. Sends a good ball across, and the defence didn't really deal with it. There's still a chance on the far side. Good save by D. And of course, problem so far, Inglewood. As the ball is punched out to Masopoulos. Oh, what a great shot. Seven minutes into the game, Matsopoulos finds the net for Inglewood. Starting his first match of the season, having been a sub on four occasions, in the perfect position, there was no one around him. And as the ball came to him, he fired it home. Got a slight deflection, but that didn't really affect things. Still found its way through to the goal. And it's Inglewood who take the lead. Chardand sending it down the line. Oh, there's a crunching tackle just on the edge of the area. It is just outside. Nagadari runs over the ball. The shot comes in from Charland, and that's a good comfortable save by the keeper, Teseski. Price sends the ball to the edge of the area. They're looking dangerous again, Oringawood. And there's the goal scorer, Masopoulos, who wasn't really tackled and managed to get a shot in. Driving ball by Lord out to the far side. The shot from long range actually wasn't terribly far away from Oliveira. Well, one in midfield once more, this time by Samut. And that was a little tug there, which the referee spotted. Chance from long range. And Deeg had that covered, and he needed to. Perth coming on strong, looking for an equaliser. Here's Price to clear it. Oliveira nips in, he's brought down. That's going to be a penalty. I don't think there was any doubt about it. It was the quick thinking of Oliveira as he nipped in ahead of Price. And there was definite contact. As you can see, Price just eased off the ball. That allowed the striker in. And there's definite contact there. And Mr Curry had no doubts. And it's the man who was fouled who is going to take the kick. He's already scored five goals this season. Looking for number six now. Oh, wasn't hit with too much pace. Didn't need to, though. Found the angle to perfection to score the equalising goal after 34 minutes. It was all about placement. Rain driving down again. It's one of those days. That's a really good driving run with some penetration and forcing the save again from Deeg, who's not happy with his defence. To this near side. Once more, good run by Ross into the area. Well, I think Onofora was offside. Indeed, he was. And the referee says that will do for a really tight first half. The teams can't be split. They go in sharing the spoils at one all. Inglewood getting the second half underway. And looking to come forward once again. Asopoulos has been good in that midfield area. As has Basinski. Here's an opportunity from this near side. And eventually trying to work a cross in, which he does to the far side. And there was a man over. In the end, Deeg forces the header over. Oh, it's not really dealt with. Chance for a shot. Perhaps at the second attempt. Matsopoulos! Well, if the first was good, that was even better. Because he really scuffed the chance first time round. But managed to recover in time to unleash an unstoppable shot past Deeg. Oh, completely miskicked it. Then recovered. Looked up. Picked his spot. And found it. Huge power on the shot. And after 54 minutes, it's Inglewood who once again take the lead against Perth. They lead by two goals to one. Well, the passing movements haven't really been working for Perth so far today. Price lays the ball back. Nagli area out to the near side. It's taken on by Kay. 
Got a man outside of him in Charland. Normally a great cross of the ball, and so he is. And it wasn't too far away from Oliveira from snatching the equaliser. Again, easy dispossession in midfield. Didn't find the initial intended target, but the long-range shot wasn't too far away. Deeg was scrambling back. Great ball into the area. But the defence are working so hard, forcing him wide and wider still. Good layoff by Naglieri. Tempted cross to the far side. Oliveira goes down. The referee said that's going to be another penalty. Second of the game for Perth. And a yellow card to be shown as well for the challenge. He really lent into the man. I think that's what the referee spotted. And when he saw that, he decided he was bundled over. And that had to be another penalty. Well, Oliveira struck with the first one. Can he do it again? Oh, he can. Again, no power in the shot. Picked his spot. Went to the other side this time. And makes it 2-2 after 78 minutes. And that's his seventh goal of the season. So who's going to be the stronger team in these closing moments? Who's going to find a winner? Well, it's Perth with the possession at the moment. Again, quite comfortable to just keep Inglewood at bay. Now they launch it forward. On a Onofora looking for the return pass from Naglieri and he gets it, he gets into the area as well. And that was a good save by Teseski, doing what good goalkeepers do, spreading the body. Price. Well, there's a man over on the far side and he wasn't marked. And Davide, the substitute, scores with just two minutes left. It's the first time this season that the player's been dropped from the starting lineup. And having come on as a sub, he found the perfect position. There was no one really watching, and he dived and stooped to Conga. And now, with just a couple of minutes remaining, Ingerwood looked like they've taken the points. Jubilation on the bench. Good ball forward, and again, Tosseski comes out of his area. Good keeping. They're determined to hold on to this. Good ball in. And another driving shot. Oh, that's another goal. 4-2. And that from Brzezinski was a stunner. Well, he scored a stunner last week against Floriot. Probably just as good as this. But this was a stunning goal. Really was. And it seals the points. His third goal of the season. And two in as many games. Well worth seeing again. Nothing that D could do. Or indeed, I doubt any keeper could. So another disappointing away trick then for Perth as they fire in another shot on goal, but again, Toseski does enough to keep them at bay. Final moments of the game then, as the header goes wide. Just waiting for the final whistle. And there it is, Zingerwood with their first home win of the season. And they've achieved it in stunning fashion by four goals to two, coming on strong with two goals in the final couple of minutes of the game. And that will please Lee Bamber and his coaching staff. Well, what a game. Oh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. I, mean, I think we've had uh, two fantastic games against them. Uh, one in the cup the other week and we were just a little bit unlucky, but um, at least we got the right result today. And what do you think of the two penalty decisions? Uh, well, one bit silly, bit silly. We didn't get a shout with the first one, our defender, and you know, you can't... We don't get a shout, we don't talk enough, then we're going to give silly things away. Second one I thought was a little bit harsh, I thought our lad had just stood up and, uh, and done everything right. But uh, that's the way it goes. Thought it was going to go against us again, but fortunately we've come up with two cracking goals at the end to, to get the result. Yeah, you must be very proud of your players, the way they kept their heads up and, uh, and kept plugging away. I've been proud of my players all season long. Um, we know what we want to do, we know what we're trying to do. Um, they've got a great work ethic, great team spirit amongst them. Well, as you can hear in there at the minute, you know, they, that meant a lot to them. You know, we were really hurting after the last result against them, so that was fantastic today. And, and two cracking goals, especially the last one. Oh, well, if, the goal of the season? Well, if he'd have been there last week at Florey, that one was even better than that, but, but that is up there, definitely up there, yeah. Fantastic strike from Bazza again. And you reckon you build from this, uh, this victory to go on to the season? Do well, you as title contenders? Uh, no, we, just, we, just, we, know, we, we know what we're trying to achieve. We know, we know where we're about, we are and where we are at the moment. And, um, we, uh, we'll just keep plugging away, we'll, just, we'll come back down to earth on Tuesday, we'll work hard and we'll just prepare for the next game. Well, good luck for the rest of the season, well done today. Thanks very much, cheers.